Keep in mind the map hasn't come out yet, so all these caves are subject to be reworked, but this gives you a good idea of what you might see in the upcoming DLC. You start out at 76.7, 64.5. When you drop down into the water, you should see a big water tunnel type deal, and this is the cave. You could maybe build a small water wall, but it wouldn't be the greatest. The first opening goes slightly upwards into the cave, and opens up into this big room, and you could probably put a wall around this, or a shandy above the opening to shoot down, but it wouldn't be the greatest thing in the world either. The cave itself has two parts, the first being the left hand side, where it opens up into a pretty big room after a small water tunnel, but there isn't really anywhere to build a good wall or defend from. However, if you go to the right side, it's a different story. You first have a very long and skinny underwater tunnel, where you could put turrets and then just sit in with baryonyx. It goes down a bit and then goes straight back up on the other side into the opening. This hole is fairly narrow and would be very annoying to push through online. Once you exit, it immediately opens into the main chamber where you could easily build a very strong wall and have turrets above the water opening. The cave itself isn't the largest back here, but you have a pretty respectable amount of space and you could have water breathing in the main room itself. If you found this helpful, leave the video a like or subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this.